What's up world, it's your boy Drew Marcy here for How To Rap and in this video we're gonna show you how to rap like Lil Wayne, Drake, and Nicki Minaj on their new single, Seeing Green. We're gonna break down the bars from these iconic artists using things like lyrical metaphors, vocal delivery, and beat selection, and much more. So if you're an up and coming artist that's looking to learn a little bit from the greats, or if you're just a fan of this lovely culture of ours known as hip hop who wants to peek behind the curtains, it's some icons like YMCMB, then sit back, relax, and enjoy the secrets to learn how to rap like Lil Wayne, Drake, and Nicki Minaj on Seeing Green. Now, before we begin, be sure to subscribe to this channel because we drop weekly videos on how to rap like the GOATs, including everyone from Eminem to Jay-Z to more recent artists like Polo G and NBA Youngboy. And if you are one of those aspiring rappers looking to improve your pen game, pick up our new free video course, How to Write a Rap on any topic in under 20 minutes step by step by visiting the first link in the video description box below. Now secret number one to learning how to rap like Lil Wayne, Drake, and Nicki Minaj on Scene Green is beat selection. Let's start off by discussing the beat selection in Scene Green. Now this track has a big expansive production choice for a beat in the style of a mid-2000s Just Blaze Kanye West or in my mind, the closest comparison would be the work of the heat makers with Dipset. In fact, Dipset's direct influence on some of the GOAT level rappers today may be a trend to look out for in 2021, as Seeing Green was dropped on the heels of J. Cole's The Off Season, which features an opening intro by none other than Killer Cam himself, Hey, uh, that was actually the Joel sound. In addition to a hit maker style beat with Harlem-esque bars from Cold World. Now to get a similar tone for your instrumentals, you wanna be sure to be scouring the interwebs for a heat makers type beat, just blaze type beat, or a or dipset type beats, even though I know my producers out there usually detest the type beat culture that has developed on YouTube. Sorry, beat makers, sometimes it really helps us rappers hone in on the sound we're looking for. Now, secret number two to learning how to rap like Lil Wayne, Drake, and Nicki Minaj on Scene Green is the conversational lyrical structure. Starting off with Wheezy F Baby himself's verse, we see the introduction of a common lyrical tactic not only used by Wayne, but Drake as well later in the track. Let me take this Balenciaga mask off to ask y'all, who asked y'all? See the told me to stop my off, that's all. Bop, 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 bop. He was a good cat, my bad dog. Wayne here is using a conversational lyrical structure where rather than simply describing what he will do to you or his opponents, he is literally vocalizing the statements he would say directly to his op, often using second person framing and question statements from a simulated conversation. Now, Drake uses a similar framing for some of his lyrics in verse three when he says things like, your girl was better in the morning like a slice of pizza. That's when I had to hit her with the nice to meet you. You brothers think you're doing damage, you just hyping me up. Face who? I can see a wall of y'all, all of y'all and run straight through. Now. Second person framing is important here. The use of second person framing, you, yours, y'all, helps to add the conversational nature of the threatening bars while also allowing Drake and Wayne to slide in and out of questioning statements from the simulated conversation of the lyrics. Think about it. When you're talking to someone you dislike or an op, you're usually not saying, I really wanted to hit him or I might just smack him around. You're speaking directly to them using you, your statements, etc., and often threatening questions like face who or who asked y'all. So by setting up their menacing bars in a conversational tone, using second person framing and questions, Wayne and Drake help to add to the demonic feels of seeing green. And as a bonus aside, I believe this conversational tone was particularly innovated, maybe not created, but particularly innovated by none other than Jay-Z, Jigga Man himself, with tracks like 22 Twos and the Friend of Fro series. In those tracks, he uses the entire lyrical and narrative structure to threaten his opponents in a very specific second person question asking framework. So be sure to check out those tracks for study. And don't forget all three rappers on Scene Green, particularly Lil Wayne, have been consistent in giving their props to Jay-Z as one of their influences. Now, secret number three to learning how to rap like Lil Wayne, Drake, and Nicki Minaj on Scene Green is melodic vocal tone to match the lyrics. Now, mind you, the lyrics aren't the only thing to add to the conversational nature of the verses, particularly in Wayne's case. 
re-listen to the way Wayne delivers some of these opening bars. Let me take this Balenciaga mask off to ask y'all, who asked y'all? Cedar told me to stop my, that's all. Bop, 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 bop. He was a good cat. My bad, dog. Pay particular attention to how he delivers those last lines of each bar. That's what I'm doing a little bit. Listen to it five times in a row if it will help train your ears. He is literally acting out the lines as if he's talking to his enemies. Who asked y'all? He is asked inquisitively like a real question. That's all. Is delivered like he's simply summing up his feeling. And my bad, dog. <laughs> is delivered like he's actually sorry that he had to kill the dude, which makes it sort of funny to hear him say that. Now, one of the most essential ways of going from beginner to intermediate to intermediate to advanced as a rapper is being able to have a vocal dexterity and freedom to adjust your vocal tone to match the content. Even a bit later when he says, as a matter of fact, I had to. He literally sounds like he just thought of an additional fact. Furthermore, pay attention to the second half of the verse, particularly the section that comes and ever since the pandemic, I mean, nah, 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 right? He's he's using a very common, almost melodic, no singing up and down vocal tone here. It sounds a little bit like he's recreating a Mardi Gras horn from his hometown in New Orleans. This is particularly effective for rappers who don't plan to sing on a verse, but would still like the melodic effect of notes. So what I would suggest is every time you're recording a verse, both pay attention to see if you can answer these questions. Am I delivering the lyrics in a tone faithful to the lyrical content? Is there a matchup? And am I adding any cool melodic hints in my regular bars like Wayne does on that second half? Throwing these vocal styles in will help your verses become more entertaining from a vocal perspective uh, as Wayne does here. Now, secret number four to learn how to rap like Lil Wayne, Drake, and Nicki Minaj on Seeing Green is homonyms and soundalikes. Homonyms are two different words that are pronounced the same way but have different meanings. So think of I read the book and the color red, or I got your call and you're going to call me back right saying it the same way but it means different things now rappers use those quite literally from time to time but they usually use something more like mere homonyms or what i prefer to call as sound alikes to not be too nerdy right uh, which are words that sound very similar but have different meanings so in nikki's case she starts a verse with i am the star in any room that i stand in i am the standout you just my stand in. Nikki is making use of a literal homonym, again, two words or phrases that are pronounced the same but mean different things with the stand in, stand in reference. But Drake does a sound alike or near homonym later in the song with my personal favorite bar of the track, trying to run a country like Putin one day, but who's Russian, right? Rushing, Russian. You could even argue that I should go cop in New Jersey. That's where the Camden bar from Nikki is an adjusted homonym by uh, her. Now, in in any case, practicing your sound alikes and homonyms like those demonstrated by Nicki and Drake here will similarly take you from intermediate to advanced as a rapper. Here's a pro tip. Every time you're writing a bar to do this, every time you write a bar, try saying out loud a couple words in that bar or that verse to see if they're close enough in sound to another word that you could throw in a sound alike or a homonym. Additionally, check out the king of the dot rap battles, particularly those involving Charlie Clips and Conceited, as those rappers make extensive use of this tactic. Now, secret number five to learn how to rap like Lil Wayne, Drake, and Nicki Minaj on Seeing Green is use of extended metaphors and subliminals. The last major trick I want to hit you to for learning how to rap like them on Seeing Green is the use of extended metaphors and subliminals as a way to diversify your lyrical palette. In the case of Nicki, she repeatedly goes back to subliminal usage throughout her verse with lines like, these women copy my homework, that's what they hand in. No one chick could be my op, that thing offends me. Or, and these women time TikToking, better stick to dancing. Even notice there how on that last one she uses a sound alike. In any case, using subliminals like this has a hidden benefit for you that you might not have thought of as an up and coming artist, which is that it helps you create verses quicker by consistently having a topic to aim at. In this case, your enemies and people that you don't like, and that in turn helps you to write quicker. It can even help with writer's block, as I've noticed when I'm coming back to rap after a long break, I can just make a few songs 
songs about people that I don't like and the emotional power of writing about something you hate can help you write quicker and stop the creative blockage. Now let's talk about Drake for a second. On Drake's verse, you can start off with an extended metaphor such as basketball like he does and weave it throughout the verse. Drake starts the verse off by saying, this ain't gonna be the first time that I do numbers on two crutches. Starting off a basketball metaphor that will continue through his lyrics on Seeing Green with lines like, I play 48 minutes on a torn meniscus, who's subbing? El Chico Luxury, wanna see my homies ball so bad I started up a league. It's with me, it's all fun and games until I wanna play too. So lines like that. Now, in my eyes, using things like basketball metaphors helps Drake to appear as an imposing figure without having to go directly for the I'll shoot you bars, which he tries and sometimes fails to avoid since he's not known as a street rapper, but it also allows him to really truly say two things at once. So when he's saying, do numbers on two crutches, or I play 48 minutes on a torn meniscus, who's subbing? He's essentially saying, even when I'm injured, I'm carrying the whole team which I believe is a reference to that even when he loses a rap battle, like most people would say or agree that he did to Pusha T, he still had the best-selling double album in decades with Scorpion and was still on or near the top of the rap game in influence and notoriety. So with that said, you as an artist should be keeping an eye out for opportunities to use extended metaphors and subliminal references throughout your verse to both help out your creative flow and say many things about your career and lifestyle at the same time without wasting space in your verse. So. That is the prime secrets to learn how to rap like Lil Wayne, Drake, and Nicki Minaj on Seeing Green. And I want to see you in the comments before you go. Drop us a comment. We try to, we, we're well known for responding and reading and all that every comment. So we wish you. Comment below. What's your favorite bar on Seeing Green? I want to know. You know, I already told y'all, for me, it's the, the Russian joint that died. First time I heard that, I was like, whoo, you know. So uh, let us know in the comments. I appreciate your time. Be sure to pick up that free video course uh, that we mentioned in the beginning in the description box. See you on the next one. It's the big homie Drew. I'm out.